Hi guys, my name is Bubble Play. Welcome to another episode of Calgary Fantasy GM series. And I am excited because we are about to begin our first playoff series ever. And we are playing against Phoenix Coyotes. We had a great regular season. You see 40 win 42 wins. It's decent for a young team like ours. So I think that I'm excited to see how good can we be in the playoffs. We, we've beaten, you know, Phoenix Coyotes, you know, recently. You know, it was a tough game. They have a record pretty much similar to ours. So I, I'm sure it will be a great series. And first of all, let's look at the their lines. Oh, let's look at our lines first. So yeah, here they are. We have Nate Bakinen, who became 86 overall. He's our captain. He's a great player. He is uh, our leader. He will bring, you know, all the success that we can get. And I'm counting on him, and I'm calling him out. Also, we have Barchi and Kucherov as our wingers, two snipers. And uh, those guys, they did, uh, they had a great season. Our second, uh, second line is Kirby Reichel, who is 83 overall, and he grown tremendously. He, you know, he got, you know, 13 points uh, in the two seasons, and it's just incredible. Mark Shifley, who is great second line center, perfect one, I would say. And Jonathan Druin, who is still 74, but he had some goals scored, I'm sure he has a great... Uh, shooting category, so he is useful. Grigorenko is, you know, not showing too much. Girgensons, Coil, well, our third line is weak. Our first two lines, they, they are decent, but our third line and fourth line, they are kind of weak, and we all know that. Let's look at the defense. Defensively, we have Brendan Gormley, who is a beast. We have Seth Jones, who is even more of a beast. And then we have Ryan Murray and... Uh, uh, is he Ryan Murray? I'm not sure. Well, you will correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. And Dougie Hamilton. And uh, our top six defenders are Ristolainen and Lindholm. Our Scandinavian duo. And the uh, goalie is... Oh, we need to change that because now it's Robin Leonard. And uh, it should be... Uh, it Now it's... Uh, Malcolm Subban, but it should be Robin Leonard because he is our top goalie. Who, who is? Uh, we need to credit him for, you know, big part of. In the, he was major con contributor to our success. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. And let's look at the Phoenix lines. We will start with the goalie. Yeah, they have Pavlik and Campbell. Well, nothing too spectacular, but. I guess it's okay. We are kind of better in in these categories, so yeah, well, we'll see. And look, let's look at the offense. And yeah, it's oh, they are solid. Look at that. They have Claude Giroux. Who would, would ever thought that he will be a coyote? But he is. He has Schwartz, who grown. He has Atkinson, who also grown. And second line, uh, and yeah, it's good for line. I guess it's a little bit better than ours. Yes, because of Giroud, it's better. Second line, yeah, it's also solid. I would say it better. Better. They have Kadri, Johansson, and O'Reilly. Great, great second line. And third line, oh, I'm loving it as well. They have Johnson. He's a good defensive guy. Sabatka, who is perfect third liner in my opinion. And Clarkson, who is also great. He's a great uh, grinder. And uh, their fourth line is Connolly. Well, I'm not sure about Connolly. I think that it's kind of weird to have 79 overall sniper playing your fourth line. But Hawking, Anderson, and Nystrom, they both are, you know, decent fourth liners. And they're beating us in this regard. And let's look at the defense. Defense, oh, they have Victor Hedman and, and Matt Carl. They just took those players from Tampa Bay, both of them. And Petrie, Lyles, Wishach, and Wilson, yeah, they are solid. And I guess they are a little bit better on defense. Maybe not. You know what? I guess not. No, we have a smallest advantage, uh, especially on the top four. And yeah, and that's it. And let's see who will be 
better in this series. Yeah, we need to remember. We do not want Malcolm Subban to start this game. Yeah, we need Leonard in the net. And we are ready to go. We will sim uh, first two periods, you know, quick sim, and then we will have third period um, in basically you know real time simulation. Well, we will see it in its progression. I might say. I I think it's the you know the most common way to do that. Let's simulate to this day, and we will start. It's it's interesting to see how good uh, teams will do in the playoffs because their rosters are totally you know new. It's not like you know those obvious regular rosters. So Phoenix Coyotes look like a solid team, and I'm kind of surprised why their record is why they have only 39 wins. Well, we will see. And we begin. First period. Come on, guys. We need to start strong. We have home advantage. We need. We need to. We need to start strong. And no, I guess we don't. Come on. We have time. Let's tie it. Let's tie it for the first. It will be fine. And yes, we do it. We mark safely. Perfect. It's one-one game. We have two periods left. We can win it. We can score. Pavlik is no. It's nothing like you know a wall or something. We can score on this guy. Let's do it. Second period. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Yes, yes, it's still tie. Third period. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Home, home fine. Sea of Red. Sea of Red all want their young guys to win. Power play? Another power play. Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the end of the third. We're going to overtime. Come on, guys. Come on, we need this win. Yes! Nate McKinnon, I told you that this guy will be our leader. And he is acting like one. He is scoring a you know, wrist shot from uh, from the circle. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. We start strong. I like it. Let's see. Let's look at the three stars and all of that. No, it's taking so long. Oh, look at the shots! I've just seen it. They just killed us. They almost had, they had almost two shots for every hour shot. Well, then that's you know resourceful win, I might say. Yeah, Shifley and three stars. Leonard should be yeah, Leonard. Thirty-eight saves. That's just perfect. Yeah, McKinnon and Shifley. Beautiful, beautiful. Our you know axis, central axis. You know there is a theory that. Successful team is the team that has you know this middle axis starting from the goalie then from you know four centers and uh, Defensive core that's basically all you need you can have you can be weak on the wings or whatever, but if you have you know uh, Strong axis you will be successful. I Don't say that we have this strong axis, but we We are trying we're still young, but I want to win this series. I really do Come on, guys. Let's let's continue, you know, in the same manner. But let's have more shots. Oh, and they have two. Okay. We still have time, but we need to do, you know, strong second period. We need we need a couple of goals, or at least one, so we can have a chance. Because taking two goal, uh, you know, deficit in the third period, it's not looking good. It's never good. So come on, guys. Let's do it. Second period. No, nothing. Well, well, we still have a shot. Let's try. Let's have a quick one. That's our only chance, basically. Shots are almost equal. Come on. Oh, yes, Stas Jones. Beautiful, beautiful snapshot from the high slot. Oh, and no, no. They score again, and, and yeah, it's an empty error. Nothing we can do here. Okay. We had more shots, but I guess they... Oh, they have some advantage on the attack, so their players, they have more skill, and they just, you know, they were able to score in this tough game. But it's still 1-1, it's still too early to, you know, admit defeat or anything, oh, God forbid. We have whole series ahead of us. Let's see, three stars, I don't think that anybody from our team will be there, but we still need to see that. 
Yeah, it's all there, guys. Yeah, Pavlik. Yeah, beautiful game. He has. Yeah, uh, no, he it's not a shutout. He had one goal. Oh, so we're moving to Phoenix. Maybe, maybe it will be even better in some aspects because you know you don't have you know this pressure. You can, you can be more concentrated. You don't have you know all your family and friends coming to the stands. And you know everybody's judging you. Everybody's looking at you. You don't have to be anxious. You just you know can be disciplined. You can just play you know solid. You can be concentrated. You have to tune out everything. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's start first period. Oh, that's beautiful, Jonathan Green. He's a young gun, but he's doing that, his thing. And Seth Jones' second goal in this series, beautiful, beautiful. Let's let's keep it up. Let's. Now let's shut down it for the second period. Oh, Mark Scheifling, another beast. Beautiful. So now it's all Robin Leonard. He has to... He has to just, you know, stand. He has to just be a wall. And he's doing that. Will it be? No, it will not be a shutout. But still, I think it will be good. Yes, yes. 3-1 to one, and we are leading in this series. Oh, man. Such a young team. Our oldest guy is Leonard, and he... I'm not sure he's even 24. Oh, uh, you can only imagine how it is for, you know, for the, uh, for the young guys like that. They are, you know, basically... They know each other from the... from the juniors. They still, you know, like... I bet it feels, you know, like a lot of fun. They, you know, they really pumped up before the games, but you play against, against, you know, beasts, against those experienced players, and it must be, you know, overwhelming at times. So, yeah, beautiful. Good job, guys. You are, you know, playing like an experienced player. And it's a good thing that we are getting our experience, you know, right now, right as we speak, basically. Yeah. What is... Oh, our AHL team just sucks. Well, I guess our prospects are too young to be good. Come on, guys. First period. Let's just, let's just do it. Beautiful. Jonathan Green, another beast. We have three... Yeah, we have three players who has two goals in this series. That's just beautiful. That's what I like to see. Come on, second period. Oh, beautiful, Brandon Gormley. And we have two goal advantage going into the third. Come on, guys. Come on. We can keep it up. We do not need a quick one from our opponent. And there is no one. And Kirby Reichel. Oh, it's... And another by Murray. Beautiful, beautiful. Four to nothing. And it is the first career playoff shutout for Robin Leonard. Oh, 31 shots. 31 saves. It's just great. And we have 42 shots. I guess we are, you know, we are fighting this pressure. We are, you know, going into it like a team. And we're doing great. Beautiful. And we're leading 3-1. to one, And every next game can be the last. Oh. I think that for this, you know, for the last game, you know, the game where series might end, we will do a regular simulation. We will just, you know, go minute by minute without simming for the periods. I think it will be, you know, it will be a good thing to do for the pressure. We are back at the home ice and uh, I hope that we will be encouraged by our results. I really do. Oh man, it would be just you know perfect if we could if we could win it you know in in five games, but we don't need to think about that. We don't need to think about the series. We need to think about you know of when you think about this game, about this one game that we need to win, and we start strong. Grigorenka with your weird beard, you do nice, beautiful. I guess I will will we'll, we'll call you. Weird beard and Gormley, <gasps> what a beast! Come on, guys, we're doing great. They are overshooting us, but it does not seem to work. And oh, Claude Giroux, he was silent. I was not saying anything, but he was silent the whole series. Oh, I guess you can't, you know, shut down a player like this. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Ten, yeah, ten minutes left. Let's do it. Come on, 
Dumb. No, no, no. Play on defense. Yes! Kucher. Beautiful. Beautiful. I guess it will be it. Yes! And we did it. We win our first ever playoff series. And oh, we win it in dominant fashion. It was 4 to 1 win. Beautiful. I cannot be more proud by our young team. It's just great. It's just great. And oh. I'm not saying about you know, how far can we go, but uh, we deserve this success. We were a good team, and we were stronger in this series. And uh, three stars, yeah, Gormley, one plus one, and Lanner, and Grigorenko, beautiful, beautiful. Everybody was, you know, doing great. And Lanner, he had two, well, he had four, you know, three had seven goals in the whole series but in the games that we won he had he had three goals in four games that's just dominant let's look at the player stats player stats for the playoffs yep oh beautiful beautiful series let's look at the forwards who was dominant Barchi he was you know silent but yeah shyfully uh, five points in five games McKinnon had a lot of assists Barchi as well. Druin had two goals. Grigorenko, yeah, Kucherov, yeah, everybody chipped in basically. Our even our third line guys, you know, like Coyle and Grigorenko, yeah, they were producing as well. Girgensons do not have anything. Yeah, our fourth line and Girgensons are just, you know, they were silent, but still. Our top guys produced. Beautiful. And Gormley, look at that beast. Six points in five games for a defender. What a beautiful stat. And he plus five and plus six. They just great. Yeah, you see our top six are kind of you know, trailing off. But still, great. Just great. Look at the forwards plus minus. Yeah. What, everybody's a plus player? No, our fourth line. But they are our youngest guys. So it's, you know, I guess it should be like that. Yeah, Gormley has power play goal. I guess it's the only power play goal of the whole series. That's fine. And goal is yeah, that's the man of the hour. Look at this at these stats. 1.18 goals against average. 96.25 save percentage. A shutout. And it's all happening in the age of 23 for our big and very talented Robin Leonard. He is great. It was the best trade ever. So let's sim a little bit further to see who we got in the second round. Let's just sim a couple of days. Or it might be more because there is a lot of series and uh, some of them might take a while. Let's, yeah, you see. Well, if we had, and no injuries by the way, that's always good. Yes, and we have Edmonton Oilers as our opponent. And they have a great season. They are a better team than we are in the regular season. So it will be a tough series and I can't wait to see it. It will be, uh, you know, Derby from Alberta. That's just crazy. It's, it's you know, the whole state of Alberta will be just, you know, paralyzed for the, for the you know, game time. Nothing will work. Everybody will be watching it. It's just, it's great. I would love to see series like that in, in real life. Now let's look at the playoff tree and we will end this episode. Yeah, how it was. Yeah, on the west. Yeah, Los Angeles lost in seven. Vancouver won over Winnipeg. And Nashville lost to Dallas. So it's Vancouver and Dallas and Edmonton and us and these three Canadian teams that's just beautiful and uh, on the other side yeah we have uh, Ottawa and Montreal and Calgary and Philadelphia and other two Canadian teams that's just a great possibility of Canadian team winning just you know just great it's out of eight teams there are five Canadian teams <laughs> that's that's a great thing to, uh, thing to see. So I guess we will end this episode here. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my channel. 
and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.